Yo, 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 what is up guys, Nick Nikai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Like always, if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. So, in today's episode, we are gonna be doing uh, product testing on the Milesy TP2 Plus uh, thermal imaging camera. So this thing actually is Bluetooth, connects right to your phone, and this acts as your thermal imager and you can see the live data straight through your phone so it's actually a pretty cool tool this i will say right off the bat is one of those tools that you don't necessarily need for say being an automotive technician diesel tech whatever you want to be wrenching on but um it's pretty freaking cool so i'm going to show you some uses i've actually been doing some research seeing other uses you can use for these for these things uh, when troubleshooting vehicles and there's actually a lot more than I realized and I'm pretty glad now that I have one To be able to troubleshoot whether at work or here at home and like always uh, I got a second one here just for one of you guys So if you guys are interested in testing one of these out adding it to your tool arsenal Just drop a comment. Let me know maybe a little bit about yourself what you'd be using this on uh, Maybe working at the dealer whatever. Let me know and uh, if you're the winner ship one of these to you for free so this is pretty much what you get out the box. Let's see, I have two kits right here, but got a cool little carrying case. Keep it uh, protected. Got a nice little USB-C charging cable, as well as the tool itself. Got a power on button right here. Camera. Has these two little tabs that fold out. I guess if you wanted to clip it to your phone, but if you have a iPhone Pro or something anything taller doesn't really fit on there So maybe if you had a standard phone it might fit price on this bad boy goes for 400 bucks on Amazon I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested and it can read negative four degrees up to 1022 degrees Fahrenheit so pretty decent range 25 Hertz refresh rate See right there the video quality 256 by 192 resolution and this thing can connect to Android or Apple iOS. So whatever phone you're rocking with, you're gonna be able to uh, connect to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and turn it on, hook it up to my phone, do some footage. So once you download the Milesy app, you can see it on the camera right here. We're gonna go ahead and connect to Bluetooth join and there we have it so we are in my garage right now see it's a little warm so we got some stuff pretty hot see the garage door it's currently like 90 something degrees outside so all right so we are in my chevy silverado this truck has the dual climate control so I have the passenger setting all the way up, max heat. You can see the vents glowing pretty hot. Blowing that hot air out. It's nice to be able to see it versus just feeling it. So you can actually tell a little bit better. See the driver's side dark, meaning it's very cold. So this would be pretty nice to have when troubleshooting, maybe at some blend door actuators getting stuck or you weren't sure to be able to physically see the temperature of the vents. Very helpful. I have the passenger seat heater on max right now. So you can see all the seat heating grids or the wiring coils in the seat. So say maybe you had like a dead zone, customer was complaining that the seat heater, you know, doesn't get that warm in certain spots. You'd be able to pinpoint that right away. So yeah, pretty cool to actually see temperature wise out of the vents and the seat whereas the naked eye just looking at this you can't really you can't see temperature so yeah you could also use an infrared thermometer to be scanning but stuff like that i feel like works great for the vent temp to see what temperature air you're blowing out but as far as the seat heater that's something that i feel like only a thermal imager is going to provide for you so coming to the outside of the vehicle see the rotor took it for a drive a little bit ago See the Lexus, the tire sidewalls are pretty hot from bacon in the sun. The whole vehicle actually, but 
Coming back to the brakes, say maybe you had a sticking caliper. One, you'd have one rotor that would be getting extremely hot while the other one as, isn't as hot. Let's see if we can see in there. You can see both rotors. If I had the wheels off, you could probably tell a little bit better, but both rotors on both sides should be equal in temperature. So, another use for this guy. Coming in the front, you can see maybe add some blockage in your radiator. See some uh, different heat spots depending on where the heat's traveling. I mean, the condenser is in front of my radiator, but you get the idea. So you were actually troubleshooting. The upper radiator hose, you can see is nice and hot at operating temperature. There's a thermostat housing right there. And you know the thermostat's open since our lower radiator hose is nice and warm matching the top radiator hose temperature. I'm just gonna back up so you guys can kind of see the full engine bay where all the heat is. And my cold air intake, short ram intake is actually staying pretty cool relative to the rest of the engine bay temperature. So nice that that little barrier is keeping the heat contained. I unplugged this first cylinder on the right bank because you're supposed to see that cylinder would be colder than the rest. I mean, it looks a little bit colder, but it's kind of hard to tell with the heat shield. I mean, again, you wouldn't really need to know exactly which cylinder are most cars now. Uh, 2024, they're going to tell you what cylinder is misfiring, but just a little trick I've seen that some people have used. Just look at the cold cylinder and you know that one's not firing. but. This is a bad example. And we have our catalytic converter. So you can see the outlet is slightly colder than the inlet. That's one sign that you would know that the catalytic converter is functioning correctly. Uh, you can see the inlet is at about 250, 251. Let's see. 260, or 260 on the outlet, I mean. And on the inlet, we're getting about 299, almost 300 degrees. So, of course this cat is good, it's a fairly new truck, but just another use that you'd be able to use thermal Im imaging for. Looking at our resonator down there. So, pretty useful I guess if you're having uh, exhaust issues, identifying where the exhaust is plugged up at. Uh, right here is the fuse box in the engine bay. Uh, another thing about electrical is higher resistance creates higher heat. So if you're trying to pinpoint maybe you had a uh, high resistance, some kind of shorted cable, shorted wire, you'd be able to see that with the thermal imaging. So just looking at these relays right now, you can tell which ones are in use, the glowing ones. But possibly say you had a dead relay, you'd be able to tell that that cold one right there is not functioning. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Here's the dogs right here. Kind of funny. They look really funny on the thermal imaging. <laughs> and there is some settings you can change. I forgot to talk about depending on which view you kind of want to look at. I have some black and white, some rainbow stuff, but I personally like just the regular. I feel like it's a better identif identification of the heat you're looking at. This one's pretty cool too, but I kind of just like the regular stock. So yeah, guys, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, again, I feel like the, the limit to using this tool is more based on your creativity and finding out the more uses you can use for this, but just right off the bat, there's plenty of cool things you can do with a thermal imaging camera. So once again, thank you Mealzy for sending me this product to try out and don't forget to enter in the giveaway if you wanna win one for yourself. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.